Elizabeth here, broken nose, walks right into the hospital. Yeah, just like patch me up, doc. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to go take my revenge on that guy. Should have seen the other guy is probably the motto of this town. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Project Hospital here in Dave's awesome healthy clinic for people who have boo-boos and apparently have been waiting too long. We have somebody waiting. Okay, uh, was it you? No, you have nail fungus. You're disgusting and gross. Um, why, don't, why, don't we, why don't we just give you the ointment and make you go away and, like, live in your house forever and never, ever come out of your house? You, you look like you're waiting. Okay, what's your deal? What were you waiting for? Orthopedics. Yep. Yep, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen, is orthopedics is getting bogged down a little bit here. I had a feeling this time we're going to have to add an extra orthopedics office, a little clinic in here, and get another doctor on board. So much to do here in Dave's awesome healthy clinic. And thank you again to the comments who keep chipping in on things I could be doing better, things I could be doing different. Um, as a reminder, I do record uh, several of these in advance, so chances are I may not have seen your comment. One thing that does keep coming up is adding hospital services so we can get neat things like the gift shop and the pharmacy. It's all coming. Uh, the DLC is coming sooner rather than later as I'm recording this, so that is all in the works. There is a plan for that, just not today. I think today we've got we've to gotta make sure people aren't leaving. This would be my goal. Now, I see you are being seen, finally. Are we going to be able to deal with you before you go home? Oh, it's Jessica again. Right, the pirate cosplayer. Okay, well, you've you've fractured your clavicle, and we're going to charge you $540 for that. Oh, I love orthopedics. I was just going to skim through to the next morning, but apparently we treated 35 patients in a day. We'll get a prestige bonus of 20% for one day. Okay, that's cool. I think everyone can pr basically go home for the day. We're going to zip it through to the next morning. What I would love is a day where we actually don't do anything. And by that, I mean any of the government grants or anything like that. I'd actually prefer we didn't do that because I've, I'd like to see what our money looks like without any of those. Problem with my budget right now is I keep getting like $50,000, $50,000. Wait, why did I get $50,005? That's a very odd sum. That, that seems weird. Okay, well, I'll take the five bucks. You know what, five bucks? That's something out of the vending machine right there. Uh, Fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I, I need eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, I need I need a day where we're really really unsuccessful with things and we don't do things. There's my statistics for the day. That's cool. We'll zip it through to the next morning and get the clinic cracked open here. I'll bright and early the next morning and Mega Lab up and running. Not actually doing anything. Nothing to analyze, nothing to scan. You're playing solitaire. I think you're booking your next vacation, and I think you're going on vacation with her because it looks like you're booking the same vacation. But all the doctors are in. That's cool. Nobody actually to see yet. We're all just kind of bombing around the break room here. You're watching the news. You're talking about kites. That seems to be a very, very popular topic in this town. Everybody loves talking about kites, the operation of kites, flying kites, building kites, I don't know. Uh, but there's a lot of kite discussion happening around Dave's awesome healthy clinic. The patients are here. That's cool. Who are you planning on seeing? Come here. I Come here, you. I see you there. Elizabeth, talk to me. Nobody's seen anything about you. We know nothing about you. You're going to see our chief of staff, Dr. Shouting Stone, and he's going to interview you and hopefully we'll figure out what's wrong. I do see there's already a couple of people waiting over in ortho, 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 the thing with the bones, we're pretty sure it's bones. You could have tennis elbow, elbow bursitis, cubital tunnel syndrome. Oh, that sounds fun. What's that do? Caused by the compression of the ulnar nerve. Ulnar? Ulnar? Anyway, you got a bad elbow. You got a bum elbow. So you could have golfer's elbow or tennis elbow. Well, which one do you play? Do you play both? That's very sporty of you, Susan. Well, we're sending Susan off to an x-ray, which is the best idea I've heard. I've paid for this x-ray department. I'm darn well going to use it. It doesn't generate money. We may as well be using it to diagnose people. What's your deal, Thomas? Uh, you, you have cervical spondylosis. Oh, that sounds like something you'd get at a circus. What, what is that? A degeneration of the cervical spine from any cause, synonymous with age-related wear. Well, are you very old? 
You're only 34, Thomas. It's not that bad. And a quick dose of corticosteroids and you are out the door for $840. I heart orthopedics. We're going to get t-shirts made up. And we're all going to wear them. It's going to be our new uniform around here. I heart orthopedics. Speaking of which... Can I mess around with your uniforms? Hang on. I think orthopedics should look different from the GPs. There we go. I can I can fidget with your uniform. Department dress code. Okay. Uh, orthopedics. You're going to wear... I don't know. What says bone fracture? What color is bone fracture? Sort of this orangey thing? Ah, I don't know. That says more infectious diseases to me. How about this red? It's okay. It's a little soft. How about this dark red? Yeah, go with that. Go with that. Uh, so you, do, you doctors in the clinic, you are going to have this red uniform. Let's just make sure we don't have any hospitalization or surgery, but let's just make sure that everyone in orthopedics is wearing the same color so I can see them at all times and value them. Yo, doc, you want to put on your new uniform? You, we, we've got a dress code here. Okay, I do expect you to adhere to the dress code. I know we're pretty casual. There you go. There you go. Took, it took you a second to get that new shirt on. Okay, are uh, you seeing uh, Linda here? What's her problem? Oh, she could have a whole bunch of things. Simple fracture, complicated fracture, open fractures. So I'm hearing fracture is what I'm hearing, Linda. You have an arm injury. We're sending you off to an x-ray. Fantastic. They've got a lot to do down there. Oh, I already got you pegged, dude. You got a broken leg or something. Yep, contusion, deep wound, deep wound on the feet, simple fracture. Oh yeah, yeah, you're limping. You got a you got a foot thing. We're already getting backed up again in the GP area, in the sort of general emergency clinic here. There's a lot of people waiting. I think I think today is doctor number five, like generic clinic doctor number five and orthopedics number two. It's a it's a lot of wages that I don't want to pay, but I don't want yeah, oh look at this. I don't want people leaving. Go at the end of the day going, well, you just closed. I mean, I could start thinking about night hours. Susan, 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 Susan. Susan, what is your problem? Come come here, Susan. Hang on, hang on. Uh, let me talk to Susan here. Oh, it's the tennis elbow lady again. Well, <sighs> Dr. Peter, can you just first of all ask her, does she play tennis or golf? Because that's going to eliminate one of them right there. What do we need to do for you? A USG, ultrasonography. Where do I, oh, an MRI, okay. I could make that. That is radiology. I didn't really plan on doing radiology, and what if it's not radiology? What if it's the USG thing she needs? Well, what if it's not the MRI? What if it's the USG? Okay, um, hang tight, Susan, golfer and or tennis pro. What, talk to me about radiology. Uh, that is going to be a sonography unit. Okay, so I could, I could do the sonography thing, or I could do the MRI. So what I'm what I'm looking at laying out here is a bunch of rooms that don't make any money, that make zero dollars, but I'm going to have to pay for. Susan, you're not my favorite patient, if I'm going to be honest with you, and I am. Where could I theoretically build either the MRI or the sonography department planning that I want to leave this area open? This I want stuff in here. I don't want to just have... All this be sonographies and MRIs and radiology nonsense. Maybe I'll put it over here. But then I did kind of have that ear marked for hospitalization. Oh, this is very complicated. Okay, how about we took a corridor this way? All right, we're going to keep this area open, but we're going to build some more radiology over here. This is my idea. It's not a good idea, but it's my idea. I have, you know what, I could have checked how big these things need to be, couldn't I, Dave? Uh, well, we've built that. Great, cool. Uh, management, how big does the MRI room need to be? 6x5 minimum, and then sonography, 5x4. Okay, so they're very manageable sizes here. Obviously, I'll build them way bigger than I need to so I can decorate them. That's how we work around here. Let's get you, you know what, just, uh, can I build, can I build, like, mega radiology? Like I did mega lab. Is there any particular reason I can't just build this as one big room? My short answer is no, there's no reason I can't build this as one big room. Oh, I'm building mega radiology then. We're just going to irradiate the planet. So an MRI, that is 6x5. Okay, so I can get, well, there's 8 right there. I can get 
seven, eight by eight. Does that sound pretty good? I'm gonna kind of cut them in half here. All right, that is going to be MRI and then sonography right next door sharing the space here. I don't see why I can't do that. All right, let's get, uh, well, some things. How about we put some doors in? Where's my big double doors? Yeah, double door with windows. Restricted double door. There we go, double x-ray. Okay, yeah, we want everybody to know you are walking into a heavily, heavily irradiated area here. All right, go to uh, this. Go to, actually, just go to this. Make it easy, Dave. MRI, that's the big hoozy thing. Hoozy McWhatsit lives right here. How about this? Can we get this up against the wall? No, not quite. All right, well, there's your tube that you go into. Then you need the usual stuff. Actually, you don't even need that much, weirdly. I'm going to have you perched right there, and I'm going to give you the gamer chair. Uh, but I'm going to give it to you in green. Why? Don't know. I should also change the uniforms of the radiology department so we all know they're heavily radioactive. All right, a radiology viewer. Uh, you can live... I'm, I'm giving you two. I just think it's fun. I go, go there and there. And you can have a table. I don't know why. You're just having a table. That seems to be all the stuff you technically need. Now what can we put in there that's fun? How about a non-private privacy screen? Uh, that doesn't really work there, though. Uh, no. You can get dressed up here next to the sonography unit. There you go. Uh, you just basically have to hide in the corner and get dressed. But I am going to give you a mobile equipment cabinet because that sounds fun. You don't need one, but I'm giving you one anyway. And then maybe some cabinets? Yeah, let's do cabinets here. Maybe I'll give you a sink or something fun like that. Card file. Yep, because in 2021, we want everything on hard paper copies here. Yep, digital, not for us. We're all about the card files these days. And I don't think you actually sit and talk to patients, but I'm going to give you a chair anyway. You can have a chair sort of uh, there-ish. That does not appear to interfere with your little viewer thing there. Okay, that's that bit done. Now, talk to me. Ooh, you got a lot of stuff. Wow, okay. You have a lot of stuff in sonography. Okay, that, you know what? This is fine. Everything is 100% fine. Uh, let's put this thing over here. Where is gonna be the most awkward place for people to get examined? Probably right about here. Because then you're in direct line of whomever is staffing the MRI. They're just going to sit there and watch you get examined. I think that's fun. So I'm just pulling up the prefab of sonography just so I can see kind of what goes where. Uh, that little machine, that needs to live somewhere very, very special. What machine is that? Is that shockwave therapy? No, that's a completely different machine. What, what is your machine where we do the thing for the thing here? Uh, maybe I should just prefab this. Oh, USG, is that it? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, where, where do you live? Oh, that's handy. I don't know if I ever noticed this before. If I just sort of hover over this, all the blue things, all the blue things are things that I need. Okay, well, I've got many of those. I've got shockwave therapy, which sounds amazing, by the way. The sooner we can get people into shockwave therapy, the better. I need a little USG thing. That seems like that should live right over here. Okay, wow, 5,000 bucks for this, and I'm not going to make a dime on this. Uh, do I not have a USG? I'm pretty sure I do. Does this need to live over here? I mean, you're pointing at it over there. And then what? I, I swear I've got one of these. Maybe that's the elastograph I'm doing. All right, uh, USG, come here. Now, I, I feel I've got this. No, I'm, I'm good with that one, game. Thank you. Oh, weird. It has to be in a very, very specific location. So, I mean, I knew that about Project Hospital. That was not a surprise. A lot of these things do. When I get into surgery, I'm probably going to start prefabbing some of these because where everything needs to live gets a little bit complicated. But I've turned off all your blue lights, so everything should be good to go. That's all the basics down. Now, i got to make the place look pretty. So what floor? What did I use over here? Sort of those blue and white checkered floors? Uh, give me some of those for radiology, like that. Oh, that's not the right floor. Oh, no, that's terrible. No, we can't have that. Put another door over here. Yeah, these, these, these are painfully undecorated. Painfully undecorated. You need so many things to be more appropriately decorated. Uh, first thing you need, really, I gotta get some more furniture in here. 
Because this just ain't cutting it in my world. Not wall-mounted. Why would why would you think I wanted wall-mounted game? That's a very silly thing for me to have. Just go to this and give me the things. No, that is also wall-mounted game. All right, give me all the cabinets in the world so I can put things on them. That's how we do it around Dave's awesome healthy clinic. Oh, definitely a diploma. You're going to want to know that the guy scanning you and giving you radio shock therapy or whatever it is, um, is, is actually competent to do that. First aid kit in case he's not. And then an info board is going to go here. So you can have info about things. I know you won't be able to... In You're not going to be able to interact with it there. Do I care? Not... Not as such, actually. Not as such. Uh, let's do some files. Make sure that all of your sensitive private information is right over here. Can't do that because I need a table. Uh, how about a skull, then? Everybody likes to have a skull. There are a lot of skulls around the hospital here. That's probably not really encouraging to the patients. A hamper. You can have one of those. And you can have one, too. Especially over by the changing area, which is not very private. You can put your kind of manky clothes back in there. A mug. Of course. I have to put up a whole table just so I can put up a mug. This is ridiculous. Uh, the files, they can now live over there. There's your private information right there, readily available for anybody to come in and view it. Now, let's just finish this off a little bit with another waiting room out here so you have somewhere reasonably nice to sit. We'll put up... Uh, you, you guys are going to get benches. Hopefully you're not here for that long. Do I like blue? Yeah, blue works. That's fine. We'll throw up a couple of vending machines in here. Give you a chance to spend your money. So vending, vending machine. Vending machine. Thank you. And coffee vending machine. Now, putting all of this together. Now I really got to think about upping another restroom over here. Because it's getting to be a very long walk over to the central restroom. But let's get some people hired for this. Why do you have a little, uh, little bed icon there? Like, what happens if I click on that? Absolutely nothing. Okay, who's good at radiology? You're really good at USG. I mean, you're not. You're 33%. But you're competent. Not quite as competent as Brooke. Wow, many of you would be better in Mega Lab. You're a master scientist, though. Uh, Brooke, you're in for USG, the ultra sonography, listening to things, basically. Uh, Jane, 12% on radiology. You are probably going to irradiate yourself more than anyone else. No one really good. Robert is just terrible. Robert is on, like, day two of learning how radiology works with a rocking 7% and 25% in biochemistry. Uh, Robert, I don't even think you're a doctor yet. I think you should go back to school. Linda. Ah, Linda, you're about the best I got. Okay, let me figure out your uniforms here. What says heavily irradiated? I'm thinking yellow. I think yellow is heavily irradiated. It just seems right. I played enough post-apocalyptic games. Yellow seems the right color for, oh lord, we're all going to die of radiation. Now, where was Susan over here? Susan, uh, you can go, yeah, you can get go get both of these. Get the MRI first. And, uh, you know what, go for the USG. I paid for it. I may as well use it. Uh, don't trust either of the technicians. Neither of them is very good at this. How much do I love mega radiology? I don't know. I feel it needs to be decorated more. What else could I be throwing in here? Uh, give me uh, decorations, please. Yeah, maybe a plant or two. I don't know. I'm going to put a flower up on your cabinet here. And maybe this, whatever this is, that could live right next to it. I mean, it's okay. A trash bin. Everybody loves having a trash bin. Yep, Susan's in. She's going for the MRI here. We're going to stick her in the tube and figure out what's wrong with her. Again, golf, tennis, could be either, could be both, could be neither. You could be lying to us about your sporting activities here. Uh, you are ostensibly scanning Susan in the tube, but I think you're just shooting out an email to somebody. What are you doing over here? Are you doing anything fun? What you up to? Oh, you're booking your vacation. Okay, super. How? Oh, there's, um, there's blood, guys. It's like a trail of blood on the floor here. Oh, wow. It is jammed up. Holy moly, there are so many people waiting. We're never going to get through all of these people. No, I got to get more doctors. I got to get more more everything. How many of you are wait? Well, actually, let me just look at my waiting room. Yeah, this whole waiting room is for orthopedics. So, Oh, actually, no, that was radiology. Um, but this whole waiting room is for orthopedics. That's how I designed it, I think, if I remember correctly. So all you guys are waiting for orthopedics. You fractured your finger. You have many fractures that may be going on right now. Which one of you bled on my floor, by the way? You have a nasal fracture. Somebody punched you in the nose, Elizabeth. 
there, there, this is a violent town. This is a hard town. You do not come into this town soft. Elizabeth here, broken nose, walks right into the hospital. Yeah, just like patch me up, doc. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to go take my revenge on that guy. Should have seen the other guy is probably the motto of this town. Problem with opening up more doctors is I just blew a catastrophic amount of money building those two radiology departments. I, that was just an unfathomable amount of money. That was like $70,000 we just spent on that, which is probably acceptable for building, you know, incredibly technologically advanced things like the tube over here. But that is a bunch of money I did not want to spend. Wow. $87,000. We just spent $87,000. $1,000. This is where the first Project Hospital went bust. Literally, we went bust. $300,000 in debt and no real way to make it up. I know, I know, I am reading the comments. Late, admittedly, having to travel in time to do it. But I am reading the comments. I know, we kill it on surgery. Surgery is where the money is, as it is in any hospital. Problem with that is that is a massive, massive investment in staff and infrastructure. That's staff all day, all night, and many, many of them. What did we do for you for 180 bucks? You have a lactose intolerance. Yeah, diet modification. We, we charged you 180 bucks to say, don't drink milk, you moron. So I'm reluctant to jump on the surgery bandwagon because we can't afford it. I probably can't even afford to build it. Oh, Frank, you're a specialist. Well, good for you, a specialist in what exactly? Um, uh, acute medicine, advanced diagnosis. All right, right on, man. Good job, Frank. Hey, Frank, do you want to, um, do you want to take a bathroom break or anything or like a food break? Because you're need critical. That is just wrecking, wrecking your mood right now. Oh, what did we do for you for 600 bucks? Fractured finger. What did we do? We gave you a cast. Cool. Wow. Quick cast for 600 bucks. Actually, 180 for telling somebody not to drink milk isn't that bad. Okay, I'm going for orthopedics number two. I don't have the money to do it. I don't. But we we don't do too bad on orthopedics. There's some money coming out of that door. Or is it doctor number five? Both departments are backed up here. Pretty hardcore, too. Uh, Dr. Frank, do you ever get a break? No, dude, go take a break, man. Dr. Shouting Stone, let, let your doctor take a break here. You're chief of staff. You're supposed to be keeping them, you know, healthy and in a good mood so they can do their job really, really good. Um, you are probably committing a massive HIPAA violation by cleaning this office while the doctor is actively treating him. Oh, you're, you got a beef tapeworm, man. Oh, come on. That is so gross. Just go. Get out of here. Take, take your parasitic organism and get out my door. I think it's got to be orthopedics. All of these people are waiting for orthopedics. Okay, let me... I'm shelling out way, way more money than I wanted to. But let's, it's got to happen. Otherwise, all these people are just going to flat out leave. And we won't get any money from them. All right, I'm going to try and keep this one as best as is humanly possible. Kind of under wraps and not completely hideously expensive. Let's just do a small office here. Not going to be really able to do much. Just a small orthopedics office. That's what we're doing. Now, what are you? You're kind of blue and white with the stripe. Okay. It's very important that everything looks good around Dave's Awesome Healthy Clinic for people who should get out the door if they have a parasite living inside of them. Um, where, where is that? Where does that live? I'll find it in a bit. Okay. So an orthopedics office. All right. There we go. Now what? All your stuff, obviously. A door would also be wicked cool around here. I will work on a door at some point in the future, I assure you. Medical light so you can medically light people up and, and know what's wrong with them, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really much of a doctor. Uh, your desk could be over here-ish. And let me get a, well, obviously a chair for you. Uh, yeah, there we go. And then a chair for your patient. Uh, let's do that in green because I said so. Uh, that can go there. And then back to all of the stuff that you need. I, I swear to God, a door is coming. It's, it's going to exist. It's a little cramped quarters in here. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put your little whiteboard up there so you can um, draw pictures of bones while people are on the table there and point out what horrible, horrible things are wrong with them. Uh, you are also going to have the glass door because I like the glass door. That's fun. Okay, that should be everything that we need there. I just need somebody to actually work here. Anyone good at bone stuff? 
61%, 57%. Oh, hello, Sarah. 93%. You, you are hired. You cost a bit, but you're worth it. You're absolutely, you're a specialist, actually. Okay, um, off you go then, and you've already put on your red uniform. Good. Oh, Chris here, deep wound on the arm. Again, tough town, tough town. Uh, we closed it up for 500 bucks. Neat. All right, good, good deal. How are we doing with our insurance companies? P.S. Yeah, liver T.Y. We love those guys. We absolutely love those guys. Well, they love us too, 120% on that. Okay, good. Now we've basically doubled our production in orthopedics like you what's your problem you have elbow bursitis we already know we already got it great good you're going to be right out the door uh i didn't even see what your problem is we're just flying through the bone issues right now now continuing the hideous amount of money that i'm spending right now i am going to go with my small bathroom idea over here because it is a very very long walk for them to get over there they don't walk very quickly ah uh, wow a lot of blood guys a lot of blood around here do we maybe want to do we maybe you're cleaning the x-ray department that's wicked cool i appreciate that x-rays should be nice nice and clean i guess also you're kind of just hanging out in the room while this lady is undressed totally wicked creepy on that again appreciate the cleaning ah you're overworking on the blood stains good good it um it is a little awkward when patients walk into dave's awesome healthy clinic that has a trail of blood all over the floor and there's a trail of blood all over the floor just a very very small bathroom in here i don't really think any of these have to specifically belong to a department they'll use anything but uh, you know what i'll give this one to radiology why not guys you deserve your sort of own restroom here i know you need a door it's all going to be fine we're going to get you a door uh, something very, very simple here. Yep, just a white door. Okay, and you need things. Right. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to put walls up for all of this nonsense. But put this in here and then give me, um, yeah, just the, actually, no, let's do, let's do something slightly nicer. Let's do cabinet sinks along here. Sink, 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 and mirror, mirror, mirror. There's one place you want to look good. It's when you're deathly ill and bleeding in a hospital. Uh, it's always been my opinion. Uh, where's the, uh, there it is, the hand dryer thing. We're going to definitely want one of those. And it uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to have a trash bin of some sort. But let me put these walls up first. Uh, what do we think this wall is going to be? Something kind of simple like this. And we're going to do it in that color because, well, that's the color that we're doing it in. Uh, that and then this needs to go like this fidgety to make these but there it is Nah, there's nowhere to really put a trash bin where it's not going to mess up somebody's pathing okay there we go little sort of radiology restroom anyway less for people to walk over to the major one over here and then i do still want another small one over in reception reception is obviously way too big and largely irrelevant we don't technically need it per se but this guy can do triage so he can kind of hopefully maybe figure things out before they even get to the doctor's office looks like the line is clearing out i am encouraged about that i have very little money left Twenty-eight thousand dollars ain't cutting it we could try and get this 40000 per day hospitalization. Any one of these is probably some money. In fact, can I get an idea of what? Yeah, there we go. So treat 40 patients, I'll get 50 k That would be nice. The only bonus for hospitalization is the ICU. That's cool. That's just more money to spend. I'm more interested in the 40 patients. Maybe we can get that with the new orthopedics clinic room. And then if that doesn't work, it's doctor number five. Um, in the emergency clinic to get, well, more people seen. Where are we up to? Actually, we're not even that far. Wait, 41 patients treated. Well, I, I did that then, game. I did that. Maybe it only clicks over at the end of the day. It clearly says here, I've done 41 patients. No, I haven't. It says 24. No, you're reading that wrong. Patient intake is 41. We got 41 people showing up, but we're probably not going to be able to cope with them because it's already 2.30 in the afternoon, and we've only done 24 of them. Okay, my next plan, my next plan for Project Hospital is either, well, it might be a combination of many things. Doctor number five, absolutely. And then we might have to start looking at night shift. I think that might be the next logical step. Kind of puts sort of a 
a skeleton crew on at night. I say skeleton crew. If I want all of my labs and radiology staffed, that's going to be one of everyone. The doctors, I could get away with, like, you know, maybe one guy in orthopedics instead of both. Maybe two doctors down here instead of four. And kind of feel that out as it goes along. So there's not going to be as many people here at night. Although this being such a tough town, I'm surprised there isn't. Well, they're probably having their bar fights at 2 o'clock in the morning, and then they just line up outside the door with whatever hideous, gaping wounds they've walked in with. But that's kind of my idea. Either more people in the day or the night shift. Because right now, I could see a point where we're starting to stagnate and people are getting kicked out because there's we just can't see them. We are such a good, awesome, healthy clinic. We just can't see them. You're wicked happy. What do we do for you? Oh, you just have the flu. Okay. How much should we charge you for those antivirals? 180? All right. Do you think that's uh, do you think that's paying for the MRI? Do you, do you, I'm just curious. You know, 180 bucks, Jennifer. Do you think that's maybe paying for this MRI? Do you know how much that tube costs? You didn't even use the tube. Do you have any idea how much that tube costs? No, you're going to pay 180 bucks because you had the flu. You had the sniffles, basically. That is an excellent place to crawl it on Project Hospital for today. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. I do read each and every one of them. Even if I have to travel in time to do it, I do eventually get caught up on them. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I mean, you just have no idea how vitally important a toilet is until you don't have one in space. You know when those alarm company advertisements say somebody is the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds? It's these guys. It's the Powells. They are, in fact, the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds because, um, me. Gotta give these guys credit for doing jumping jacks in plate mail armor. That is a hardcore workout. Wow, you, like all guards in the entirety of Elix, are a terrible guard. You specifically said, I can't go in here until I complete a quest. But look at me, Xander. I'm going in here without completing a quest.